Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Math with Sir Kiko. Today's lesson, we're going to discuss quarter two, week number three of Mathematics 5. Determine the digit of a number given its place value. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's go. Now, for our learning competency, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to determine the digit of a number given its place value. Now, let's recall how to determine the place value and the value of the given digit. For example, we have 2 and 356 thousands. Let's determine the place value and the value. First, we have 2. The place value is 1 and the value is 2. 3. The place value is tens, and then the value is 0 0.3, or what we call 3 tens, not 7 tens, 3 tens. Okay, we have 5 hundreds, so this will read as 5 hundreds, not 6 cents. Next, we have 6 thousands is the place value, so we have 6 thousands, so 0 0.06. Now, let's recall the place value chart so we have the decimal place value chart we have the whole number to the left and then to the right is the uh, whole part for the decimal numbers so the middle is the decimal point or the decimal part so as you can see the difference between the whole number and the decimal is the whole number start with one's digit one's tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand and millions well, the decimal number, it start with the tens. Okay, again, it's, it, it start with tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and millions. Okay, so now let's have some example to further analyze how to determine the value or the digit using the place value. For example, number one, we have what is the digit in the hundreds place of 7 and 538,000. So, we're going to identify the digit in the hundreds place. Okay, let's recall the uh, place value chart. So, the, to the left of the decimal point is the whole number. So, this time, the question is focusing on the decimal because it ends with THS. So, let's focus to the digit to the right of the uh, decimal point so to the right of decimal point we have 5 3 and 8 now what should be the digit uh, focusing on the hundreds place so let's find the digit so let's start with counting tens hundreds thousands so the digit is 3 because the digit in the hundreds place is Tens, hundreds. Okay. Next, we have example number two. What is the digit in the tens place of twelve and four hundred seven thousands? Now, focusing on the decimal again because it ends with THS. So to the right of decimal point. So the digit or the place value that we're going to uh, locate is in the tens place. So the digit to the tens place is correct. The answer is 4. Okay. So next, we have number 3. What is the digit in the thousands place? So the thousands place, we have to count tens, hundred, thousands. So therefore, the digit is 6. Okay. For question number 4, what is the digit in the tens place? Again, Tens place is to the right of decimal point. The first digit to the right of decimal point is correct. We have 3. Okay. Next, what is the digit in the hundreds place? So, the hundreds place is the second digit to the right of the decimal point. The decimal point to the right is 1, 2. The second digit is 7. We have tens, hundreds. So, therefore, the answer is 7. Okay. Now, let's have example number 3. So, in example number 3, we have 45 and 378,000. 
So, let's uh, determine each of the following place places and its uh, value or the digit. So, the digit in the tens place is 3. Correct. The digit in the hundreds place is 7. The digit to the thousands place is 8. Okay? So, take note. The first digit to the right of uh, decimal point is tens. The second digit is hundreds. And the third digit to the right of decimal point is thousands. Okay? Next, example number 7. We have 9 and 600, 4 thousands. So, the second digit is tens place. So, this, uh, the first digit to the right of the uh, decimal point is 6. This should be tens place. Okay? The second digit to the right of decimal point is the hundreds place. Therefore, this would be 0. And then the third digit is thousands place. So, we have 1, 2, 3. Therefore, we have 4 is the digit in the thousands place. Okay? So, I hope you already know how to identify the place value of the underlying digit or the value given the uh, place value. Okay? Now, let's identify the place value of the underlying digit. Okay? So, let's identify what is the digit in the tens place. Tens place is the first digit to the right of uh, decimal point. So, therefore, the answer is... Correct. The answer is 5. What is the digit to the hundreds place? Again, focusing to the hundreds place is the second digit to the right of decimal point. So, second, 1, 2, therefore, the answer is 7. Okay? Next, what is the digit to the thousands place? The thousands place is the third digit to the right of decimal point. Therefore, the answer is 3. Okay? So, I hope you already know how to find the... Uh, digit given its place value. Now, take note to identify the place value as example, we have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, try to find the place value using the place value chart. Okay? Look at the number and then locate the digit in the place value using the place value chart to guide you and then state the digit you found. Okay? So, to further enhance your skills in this topic, try to practice. Identify the value of the underlying digit. Okay? Or try to find the uh, digit using its place value. Comment down your answer in the comment section below. So that's it for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.